Hi, I'm Sean and welcome to This is Longmont. Colorado Parks and Wildlife put on the St. Vrain Experience at St. Vrain State Park. This free public event was all about fishing. We learned about the fish hatchery program, there were angling lessons, fly fishing demonstrations, and various kids activities. They were even given away free fishing poles. Senior Ranger Sean of Colorado Parks and Wildlife tells us more. My name is Sean Dunleavy. I'm the senior ranger here at St. Vrain State Park and we're doing our fishing experience today. We did it uh, three years ago and four years ago. Unfortunately we had two years where we weren't doing the event um, but now it's back for the third annual and we hope uh, there will be many more. As far as what's going on we have a couple different partners here. Uh, Colorado Parks and Wildlife is pretty well involved. We've got a trailer down this way that's handing out free fishing rods. They got about 200 free fishing rods and reels they're giving out and doing angler education there. Right across from me, we also have the hatcheries trailer, so that's really cool. The first two years they weren't here. It's a trailer that's got two big tanks in it. It's got a bunch of trout in there, and they are telling people about how the hatchery system works and how we stock fish. Uh, next thing I can see over to my side here is Eagle Claw Fishing Tackle. So they're here representing uh, their business and they have a whole bunch of giveaways, I think. Um, in the parking lot across from me, we've got Outdoor Buddies. Outdoor Buddies is a uh, place that helps people get into the outdoors, has the track wheelchair and other stuff that allows more accessibility for hunting and fishing. The next thing over is St. Vernon Anglers Trout Unlimited. Uh, they're here today doing casting demonstrations and telling people a lot about fly fishing. Well, just a demonstration day. You know, this is uh, St. Vrain State Sometimes Park fishing fish days. Here, especially if you have two flies. And you'll see the walleye and the bass guys, and we're the, the trout folks here. Also in that same parking lot is the ANS, Aquatic Nuisance Species Program. And the Aquatic Nuisance Species Program is talking to people about doing clean, drain, dry on their boats, keeping those clean. Uh, I'm Travis Beam. I'm the uh, Invasive Species Specialist for the state of Colorado. So uh, we deal uh, exclusively with aquatic invasive species. So, you know, as like a kayak fisherman or just a kayaker in general, there are things that we do worry about, typically like plants. Um, especially here at St. Vrain, there's an invasive called Eurasian water milfoil, and so this actually spreads via fragmentation. So it only takes a, you know, a small section of this to actually start a whole new plant. So if a boat propeller was to go through a, a mat of this, um, they just created a whole you know, another section of this plant. Um, kids events going on also. So we've got. Uh at uh, 10, 11, and 1 o'clock, some kids' activities in a kids' activity tent, and then a big raffle going on today. About 11.45, we'll be doing a raffle for everyone, and uh, then another kids' raffle just towards the end of the day. So from 9 o'clock this morning until 2 o'clock this afternoon, that's what we're doing. We always look forward to April around here as it heralds the opening of the Boulder County Farmer's Market here in Longmont. We were there for opening day, let's check it out.
Welcome to This Is Longmont. My name is Sean, and we are here at St. Vrain Cidery. Let's go inside and check it out. How's it going? Uh, my name is Dean Landy with St. Vrain Cidery. Uh, we have been here in Longmont since October of 2016. Uh, we're one of the only uh, all Colorado cider tap rooms in Colorado. Uh, the unique thing about us, I think, that makes us kind of stand out is the fact that uh, not only do we serve our own cider, but we also serve as many people as we can that produce cider and mead uh, in Colorado. Fast forward 2012, uh, somebody came to me and asked if I'd be interested in opening a cidery. And I started doing some research and realized that there was nothing in Boulder County at the time. So I thought this is a great opportunity. Uh, I love cider. And so... Fast forward 2016, um, a partner and I decided that, hey, I've got a building, I've got a space, let's make some cider and uh, open up the cidery and then started making our own because we didn't have anything at first. Um, so started making our own recipes. And from there, we now have seven core recipes. Our number one seller is our Blackberry Botanical, which was kind of a, is an off dry. I really like dry ciders, but I wanted to appeal to all customers and that's how that came about so uh, it's been a great experience uh, Longmont in general is a great community it's been um, very open and um, very um, I guess just passionate about small businesses and so this is a great spot we have people come in and they love it they haven't tried cider and they're trying to figure out what their palate like and so I carry dry and sweet and uh, kind of let them choose Similar to uh, JBF, uh, Cider has a um, competition that the, is held in uh, Michigan, and it's called the Glen Cap, which is the Great Lakes International Cider and Perry competition. Since we've opened 2016, well, 2017, when we started producing our stuff, uh, we've been able to place all of our stuff, and the, the gold is our uh, pink guava, which has placed gold, I think, in the last four years. Um, Everything has done, everything has meddled, uh, which means we're obviously doing something right. <laughs> it just gives a little recognition. People ask about the medals. Uh, and I'm sure all these other cideries that I have up here from all over Colorado, uh, they have also, I'm sure, meddled in some of these categories. It's just nice that uh, Colorado is starting to get on the scene of uh, show people of exactly what kind of uh, ciders are out there here in Colorado. Finally, we heard about this local event put on by the Left Hand Artist Group, and we had to check it out. Left Hand Artist Group is a local nonprofit founded in 2013. If you are an artist looking to promote your art, check them out on Facebook or on lefthandartistgroup.org. That's a wrap for April's edition of This Is Longmont. Thank you so much for watching. For updates and if you have any story ideas or have a favorite hangout or restaurant you think we should check out, comment on our Facebook page or email us at thisislongmont at gmail.com. We'll see you next time on This Is Longmont.